So for the past 11 years, that's one year, more than a decade, I've been using the same brand of shoes, and that's Asics. And after 11 years of running, I changed brands, which I wish I would have done a little earlier. So I'm currently on a 10 mile run, holding a eight minute and 10 second minute per mile pace. And as soon as I finish, let's talk about these shoes, which are the Hoka One Rincons. So we'll see. Just finished up the run and held like a 8.30 minute per mile pace, but the heat and humidity this morning, I was like trying to, trying to breathe the entire time. It was, it's probably the most I sweated on an entire workout throughout this entire Ironman prep so far. I'm just like, I don't know if you can see, but these shorts were a different color when I left and they are just drenched. Woo! First step after getting back from my run, you would think I got back from a swim based off the sweat and water dripping off my feet all over the floor, which drives Steph insane. But first thing that I have to do after my run is I just throw back a few of these zero calorie Gatorades, which so grateful and game changing for this summer in this Texas heat. Here's where it all started. So in high school, I decided that I wanted to run cross country. And instead of just wearing any pair of Nikes I had sitting around the house, my mom took me to a running store and they watched the way I ran. And then based off the way I ran and my foot placement and biomechanics, they prescribed ASICs to me. And then after that, for 11 years, I just kept buying a new pair of ASICs every year because I just figured, it was, if it's not broke, don't fix it. And I just kept sticking with this one pair. And I'm going to preface this video by saying this is not sponsored by any shoe company. This is just my personal opinion and preference. And what shoe fits me and is most comfortable for me might not be the same as you. And what's best for like Steph and Preston and John in the warehouse right now, their best shoe might not be my best shoe. Like everyone is different. Everyone's body's different. Everyone runs a little bit different. Uh, and everyone's biomechanics are a little different. So like what is super comfortable for me might not be super comfortable for you. And what I was finding with ASICs after a, you know, a longer period of time, like more miles on my feet and I'm training for um, you know, marathons and the Ironman, and I'm putting more volume on my legs, my joints started hurting. So like my ankles and my knees started really hurting the past couple weeks. So I decided to make a switch. And when we were in Michigan this past weekend, Steph's brother, Devin, uh, recommended Hoka's for me, Hoka ones to me. And I like, picked up his shoes that he had and felt them and they were super light. And I was like, wow, I'm gonna try these. And very cushioned. Um, so today was my first run in the Hoka ones. And I'm absolutely in love with these shoes uh, compared to what these felt like. These, like Asics for me were great for, for what I use them for. But with my volume increasing, I needed something with a little bit more cushion because, like I said, my knees and ankles were killing like three miles in last week. And I went 10 miles today, no pain whatsoever. Now, let's go over the stats a little bit. And I'm going to go over the stats and I'm going to test the weights in the warehouse. And I'm going to have Preston try these on first and run. And I'm going to have him try these on the Asics versus the Hoka ones and see what his opinion is. He might hate these and he might love these or he might hate these and love these, who knows. But uh, the Hoka one is a 7.7 .7 ounce shoe from their website and it has a five millimeter drop from the heel to the toe. So the heel is hitting or uh, sitting five millimeters higher than the toe. Now these Asics, this style, for example, based off their website, is a 10.05 ounce shoe 
and it has a 10 millimeter drop. So 10 millimeters from the heel to the toe, indifference. Like I said, like my biggest preference for a shoe right now is it's having something that's lightweight because just a few ounces over 26.2 miles is gonna make a, a big difference. And especially during training with my volume higher and higher, it's gonna make a big difference. And comfort, comfort is the biggest thing because if you're not comfortable while you're running and things hurt, that is just gonna compound and get worse. So like, how do you make things more comfortable? Well, maybe a lighter, more cushioned shoe. And that's what I found with the Hoka Ones. But based off of one run today, absolutely love them. And I'd say game changing for being comfortable and then injury prevention moving forward. So these are my go-to shoes for the rest of Ironman prep. I'm sorry, Asics, I'm done with you. So we have the Hoka One Rincon. So this is a size 12 and a half. And the scale says 9.4 ounces. So we now we will check the Asics. This is the Gel Cumulus 20, another 12 and a half size. And this says 12.1 ounces. So obviously you can see massive difference between the shoes. All right, so Preston is going to experiment with the Asics as opposed to the Rincons. All right. Now tell me what you typically run in. <clears throat> Some old ass Asics. Now they're like seven months old, but they just get beat to crap because I'd wear them in the warehouse, the office, run with them a lot. So I need to get some new Asics actually. Well, Asics or? You, you might want Rincons next. Where do you get these? You can get them online. Just because I've always liked Asics and I, whenever I put a new pair of Asics on, it always feel really good. Plus the ones I'm running in currently are so battered down that I need a new pair this weekend. How long have you been wearing those? Since October? Yeah. All right, well, mine are beat the shit, so yours are definitely beat the shit. Mine are like just holding on by a thread. All right, so all we're gonna do is Preston is gonna do one small lap. It's probably like a 400 meter lap with the Asics first, and then throw on the Rincons and see what he thinks compared to both. Because he's like me, where we've been wearing Asics for so long that we just have never made a change, we've never made a switch. And maybe something like the Hoka Ones would be better for you. Because do your joints hurt? Like, do your knees and ankles hurt? Yeah, if I run for three or four days straight on the gra uh, gravel. So, be a good idea. Next up, we have the Hoka Ones, the Rincons. Have you tried these? Yeah, I ran with them this morning. They're great. You like them better? Oh, I love them. Uh, initial initial thoughts. Feel pretty funky. Uh, definitely a lot different feel than the uh, the A6. It's more cushion. Yeah, it's uh not as much protection at the top, but more cushion on the bottom. I think I like the A6 better because the pair of shoes that I had before the A6 didn't have much uh, like protection kind of on top. These obviously have more, but I just didn't like that feeling. See, now Preston is an Asics guy. The the Hoka ones, the Rincons definitely don't have, like he said, protection around the top. Like they're more of a looser, um, like top fitting shoe because they are able to be lighter than the Asics. And you really won't get the maximum benefit just like running a, a 400 meter lap. Obviously it's, it's with compound and miles. Um, but just like for comfort wise, Preston's an Asics dude over a Hoka one and I'm the opposite. So, no perfect shoe. So it is now about 4.27 p.m. and um, I'm about to head downtown for my second run of the day. Side note, if you guys want another tasty summer treat, these uh, Minute Maid light five calorie lemonades are another one of my go-tos. Those and uh, the zero calorie Gatorades. But today got kind of hectic so I didn't get the opportunity to film too much because we launched five pound containers of milk and cookies whey protein um, and we previously had two pound containers of milk and cookies whey protein on the site and that was our best seller like best selling flavor of whey protein by far so now we have fudge chocolate vanilla and milk and cookies in five pound 
whey protein containers on the site and at the warehouse. Um, but I'm heading downtown just to switch up the routine and the scenery of like running right now because I've been running generally the same route and it's a really hilly route. It's in the hill country here in Central Texas. And I just want to switch up that route a little bit. So I'm going downtown to my old stomping grounds, which is where I trained um, for the last marathon. And I loved it. Like around um, the Colorado River and through downtown and Lady Bird Lake. So that's where I'm headed right now to knock out between 8 and 10 miles in this 104 degree heat, which is going to be beautiful. This heat is next level right now. Lungs feel fine, legs feel fine. It's just the heat right now, man. It's fucking hot. Last stop of the night, Whole Foods, and it took me pretty much just as long to get to Whole Foods from where I was running as it did my entire run. Traffic was insane. So I did eight miles at a 9.05 minute per mile pace, which honestly, I, I thought I was running slower than that, but uh, my Garmin said 9.05, and I was smoked afterwards. So I picked up at Whole Foods a zero calorie like fruit punch and a freshly squeezed juice. Like their juices are really good, especially the ones that have a little bit of ginger in it. But overall, love the shoes, love the, the Rincons. I have, I have one small blister on the inside of my uh, right foot, but other than that, everything felt good. I'm gonna be smoked when I get home. So that was a high volume run day, my endurance day. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next. Iron Man prep video.